Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with some educational content for once. I'm going to be examining how, as a gamer, you can ensure that you score that epic victory royale with the woman of your dreams. If you enjoyed this video, please pick up some hitchhikers and persuade them to subscribe to me. If they refuse, please proceed to drive off a cliff, ensuring you jump to safety beforehand, as this really helps spread the good word of my channel. Okay, so step one, don't be afraid to flex your gaming statistics. I've said it before and I'll say it again. There is quite literally nothing in this world that girls love more than a high kill death ratio. If you don't have a high kill death ratio, I would recommend playing much more and training harder to ensure you get a KD high enough to impress girls. So for example, a girl might say to you, Hey there, what are you up to? And you should reply with something like, My KD is 3.4. I am a mother beast. And she will reply with something like, Oh wow, your kill death ratio is 3.4. That really turns me on. Here's my number. Step 2. Ensure to wear your gaming headset around wherever you go. Society has tried to tell us that hitting the gym, nice clothes, or perhaps a clean haircut is what girls find attractive. When in reality, it's time to throw out the Rolex and put on a pair of turtle beaches. I actually discovered by mistake that sound whoring isn't the only only benefit to wearing a headset. The other day I went out to a shopping centre and forgot to take my headset off. And that's when a group of Swedish supermodels all came up to me and said they wanted to come back to my place as I was clearly an epic gamer. I shouted as loud as I could, can I get a GG in the chat boys? And then everyone dropped their shopping bags and clapped. So yeah, definitely wear a headset wherever you go. Step 3. Teabagging is always funny. Teabagging has typically been reserved for showboating in video games. It is the act of rapidly squatting up and down like a slav with crabs on an enemy's corpse as a way of taunting your helpless opponent. But how can we use this timeless and dare I say sophisticated anecdote when finding love? Well, they say the way to a woman's heart is by making them laugh. And so I advise that you just walk straight up to them and start teabagging the ground repetitively right in front of them. They will instantly see that you are a light-hearted gentleman and a scholar and will burst into infectious laughter. Well done, gamer. Just a quick warning though, definitely ensure that you don't literally teabag them because you know, it's extremely disrespectful and also prison. Step 4. Pretend your gamer tag is your real name. My name in real life is literally Jeff. Jeff sounds like an accountant who lives in somebody's basement with his three cats and a pet goldfish that died four months ago, but he still hasn't noticed because he's too busy vaping. Whereas Modest Pelican sounds like a majestically humble aquatic bird that is going to swoop down from the skies and scoop up the lovely lady with his giant beak as they romantically fly into the sunset together. This is why it's very important that you wear a name badge with your gamer tag on it and ensure to introduce yourself as your your online persona. You could definitely get a better gamer tag than Modest Pelican as well. I would suggest something like XX Pablo Equibra XX or PU dollar sign dollar sign Y Slayer 5000 as this will give you a distinctive flair. The woman you are approaching has met hundreds of Jeffs and Gregs and Alistairs and bloody Eugenes but how many Pussy Slayers 5000 has she met? You know what? Probably not that many. Step 5. There's no better foreplay than split screen co-op. So I'm assuming you have used some, if not all of the first four steps and now have a lucky lady in your private company. Now the cosmopolitan magazines or men's fitness or whatever media hands out dating tips will try and tell you that you should spend hours cooking a romantic dinner or perhaps offering a massage as this is a great way to break the touch barrier in a relaxing way. Well, this is complete and utter bullshit. What you should actually do is fire up an old cooperative game like Halo or something, then dust off your spare controller and spend the evening shooting aliens together. The University of Kraken Hommas in West Fujitsu undertook a comprehensive study which showed that the bond two lovers establish while shooting aliens together is far greater than when they open up about feelings and be themselves. So yeah, now that you know all of the secrets, get out there gamers and enjoy having lots 
parts of the sex. That was the strangest video I've made in a while. And I'm not joking, there's always at least a few people who think I'm serious. Anyway, thanks for watching you legends. In fact, thanks for watching you Apex legends. And of course, a massive thank you to my patrons for supporting this educational movement. Until next time, and as always, stay classy.